What's poppin' people? So, the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 reviews are poppin' right now. They are on fire right now, okay? So, at the time of this recording, the Metacritic score for Xenoblade Chronicles 3 right now is 89, alright? I, I, I think I saw it, it was at 90, actually, okay? But it's like, it's, like a, it's like a solid 89, 90 right now. This game is poppin' right now. Okay, so it's, it's just crazy how we've came so far, okay, with Operation Rainfall back in, was it 2010, 2011, right? We had Operation Rainfall. Without Operation Rainfall, Xenoblade wouldn't be out here popping like this in these streets, okay? It's crazy, all right, because we had Xenoblade Chronicles 1 that dropped in 2012 of April. And then now, here we are, here we are, 10 years later, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, man, like, Xenoblade definitely has gotten gotten big, okay, it's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, more fans have been coming in, more people have been coming in, okay, and, wow, man, it's just been, it's, it's been a crazy ride, okay, so let's get into these reviews real quick, alright, so we got Nintendo Insider giving in a whopping 100, what Monosoft has achieved with Xenoblade Chronicles 3 went far beyond my expectations. The developer's masterful approach to character development and world building results in a unforgettable adventure that is set in a world that is just as remarkable to explore. It is the emotional storytelling. Oh boy, I, I just oh my gosh. That makes it unmissable makes it an unmissable journey that's worth undertaking. Elevating the experience to not only be considered as a game of the year contender, but an all-time classic that will be remembered for decades to come. Bro, I mean, this is this is really hitting home right now, bro. This is really hitting home. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is itself and loudly. It is what it is without a hint of, of doubt. It's the perfect video game in as much as it takes everything that makes the, ser the series special and turns it up louder, down darker. It does what it wants. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Uh, that was from Pocket Tactics. Let's see uh, RPG site here. What did they say? Though it borrows and evolves many of its foundations from other previous titles, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 finds numerous ways to distinguish itself from the rest. Its battle system has an ocean of debt, but it's genuinely fun to experiment with all the options it provides to players. I think the title is perfectly fine as a standalone experience to newcomers, but returning Xenoblade players will certainly be rewarded in several ways. For those that have stuck with the executive director Tetsuya Takahashi, Grand Xeno Projects and Xenogears, there are numerous winks and nods in store for them too. I strongly believe that Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is a modern JRPG masterpiece. Overall, I just can't recommend Xenoblade Chronicles 3 enough, with the series' most fleshed out cast of characters, yet a thoroughly enthralling plot full of exciting twists and turns, rewarding side content and a breathtaking open world and a common system which is more fun than ever. This is absolute uh, he said this, this is an absolute behemoth of a JRPG that in no way outstays its lengthy runtime. Whether this is your first introduction to the series or the installment you've actually anticipating for the last five years, you're going to have an amazing time. Interesting. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is the best playing game in the series. It is challenging yet excellently paced. I rarely <laughs> found myself over or under leveled the world unfolds naturally and effectively rather than through tedious field skill gates all right uh that one's from nintendo world report Xenoblade chronicles 3 changes things up in a good way offering a twist on the most unique combat out there it's lengthy engaging warm i'm not sure what that's supposed to mean <laughs> warm and probably the best rpg of the year the best one yet for sure so right now metacritic has 63 positive reviews okay and there's only three mixed reviews that's that's insane i did see the ign review and i must say bro i actually regret watching it it wasn't that they actually gave it an eight okay they gave it an eight but the problem was apparently they spoiled something in the review. I don't know why they would do that. These people at IGN are so stupid, bro. 
they literally spoiled a uh what was it? i think it was a class i think and i was like okay why does this character have this outfit on why are they doing what they doing right now like it's just really weird bro so game informer actually gave this game i think it was a 7 out of 10 i think um they were actually complaining about how the screen is very chaotic but i feel like if you've played previous xenoblade games you're kind of used to that you, you get what i'm saying especially if you play xenoblade 2 okay where you have to you know uh control the blades and the drivers you know you know doing the chain attacks you know what i'm saying doing the combos it's like i i think you've pretty much if you've played Xenoblade 2, like, you kind of already get a feel of how crazy the screen can be, okay? And definitely from watching Xenoblade 3 gameplay, it's definitely, definitely crazy. But I feel like once you really get a hold on the actual combat, it should be fine, honestly, okay? Especially if you play Xenoblade Chronicles X, okay? Like, I don't know, Chief, that's kind of, that's kind of a weird, uh, excuse. Uh, they were also complaining about the navigation in the game saying how it's a tiring exercise it's like what's that supposed to mean like bro like are you are you wilding right now bro like you you definitely definitely wilding right now if you're saying how the navigation and and he was talking about the uninspired environmental proves to be a tiring i don't you know what bro i'm not even getting into that bro but anyways overall though overall though xenoblade chronicles 3 got some crazy high reviews man and uh, and uh, on metacritic it says it's actually the number one best switch game of 2022 so we basically have two more days until zoom chronicles 3 okay and what's really killing me right now <laughs> it's really it's really killing me right now bro but there are people already on twitch streaming this game and i'm sitting here like bro you cannot be serious right now son you cannot be serious right now. Like, this is crazy, man. Ugh. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. All right. And uh, I'm out of here, man. Xenoblade. Are you, by the way, but before I end the video, are y'all team Agnes or team Kevis? I, I need to know because, like, I think I'm definitely team team kevis right now bro i don't know man team kevis kind of cool not gonna cap okay hey melia melia is on is 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 the queen of of kevis right i think so anyways that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one